This supplement will increase your muscle strength by 12% and endurance by 17% in just 8 weeks. That sounds great, where do I get it? Just pay $125 per month. I'm talking about a new popular supplement called Mitopure by Timeline Nutrition that has urolithin A as the active ingredient. This supplement has become quite popular over this year and it's been promoted by people like Dr. Mark Hyman, Dave Asprey and many others. A lot of people have asked me about urolithin A so I decided to make a video about it. I'm going to go through the research papers of urolithin A and Mitopure specifically and see if it is worthwhile to pay $125 per month. Mitopure is a patent and supplement of urolithin A. Urolithins are metabolites produced by the gut microbiome and urolithin A is produced by your gut bacteria when you eat certain polyphenolic compounds like those in pomegranate. The mechanistic benefits of urolithin A are said to be mediated through the upregulation of a process called mitophagy. You might have heard about the process of autophagy before, which is the process of cellular cleanup. Mitophagy is the autophagy of the mitochondria, so it eliminates these worn out mitochondria inside cells. With age, you see an increase in mitochondrial dysfunction, which is also one of the main hallmarks of aging. And mitophagy declines with age. And on top of that, lack of autophagy itself is also a hallmark of aging. So you can see that there's a bidirectional relationship between mitochondrial dysfunction and lack of mitophagy, which both accelerate aging. So the theory is that by supporting mitophagy with various compounds or activities, you're able to eliminate these dysfunctional mitochondria and in so doing also reduce or slow down the mitochondrial dysfunction and mitochondrial decline that happens with age. But does Mitopure increase mitophagy then? Urolithin A has been seen to promote mitophagy in different species, which improves muscle function, reduces inflammation, and improves mitochondrial function. A 2022 clinical trial found that four months of Mitopure supplementation upregulated mitophagy proteins in skeletal muscle of middle-aged adults. Now that is interesting, but what's the practical takeaway from that or what's the evidence for those results is not clear. We don't know necessarily what's the final outcome of increasing mitophagy in humans and how it's going to affect functional outcomes related to aging. There's definitely no human lifespan studies on urolithin A and mitophagy. But Mitopure does have a few clinical trials where they claim to improve certain functional outcomes like muscle strength and endurance. Mitopure markets their product as something that will increase strength by 12% after 16 weeks and endurance by 17% after 8 weeks. These claims are based on some of the clinical trials done on Mitopure, and these findings are supposed to come from not even exercising, just by taking Mitopure. So let's take a look at these studies. The first one published in 2022, and they looked at the effects of Mitopure at a dose of 1000 milligrams a day for 4 months in older adults without exercise. Now they did conclude that Mitopure increased endurance in these people, however by the end of 4 months there was no significant difference from baseline in the 6 minute walking test. They also found no difference in maximal energy production in the hand muscles between the urolithin A group and the placebo. So how did they come to the conclusion that Mitopure increases endurance? They measured endurance by looking at the ability to repeatedly contract muscles at 70% maximum voluntary contraction. And at the two month mark, the urolithin A people saw a significant improvement in endurance. However, at the four month mark, there was no difference between the placebo group as both groups endurance had increased. So by the end of the four month period, there was no statistical difference between the endurance of the placebo group and the urolithin A group. But the authors still concluded that Mitopure increases endurance. And they made that conclusion based on the finding that in the middle of the study, in the two month mark, the Mitopure group did have slightly higher endurance. But by the end of the study, that difference disappeared. The placebo group reached or catched up with the Mitopure group. So based on this logic, you could have just waited four months to the end of the study and you would have gotten the same endurance improvement as if you had taken Mitopure because like the study found there was no difference in endurance at the four month mark whereas there was a difference in the two month mark. So you don't have to pay $125 per month to reach that. You can just take the placebo bill and reach the same level. And the study found that there was no difference in the six minute walking test. So uh, there was no difference in the actual performance of endurance. I have no idea how they could claim that based on this study, Mitopure increases endurance, whereas it doesn't clearly. What about strength? Does Mitopure increase muscle strength by 12%? This study was also published in 2022 and lasted for four months, but in Instead of elderly people, they used middle-aged people. In this study, they used 500 milligrams, 1000 milligrams, or the placebo, and they measured the people's baseline strength. The 12% increase in muscle strength is based on average peak torque in the hamstring of skeletal muscle after using 500 milligrams of Mitopure. The hamstring torque increased by 9.8% in the 1000 milligram group compared to placebo. They also looked at maximum torque
work during knee flexion and both the 500 and 1000 milligram group saw an increase of 10.6 and 10.5 percent respectively. When they looked at grip strength which is typically used to assess upper body strength then there was no statistical difference between groups although the 1000 milligram group showed a slight trend towards improvement but there was no statistical difference from placebo. So based on this study yes there was a 12 percent increase in the hamstring torque which you know might not necessarily translate over to actual lower body strength but the result is certainly there it's not a massive difference but it's there interestingly there was no increase in upper body strength as measured by grip strength which they also found in the previous study where they looked at endurance that study found no increase in upper body strength either so based on this evidence then mitopure doesn't increase upper body strength at all it might increase hamstring torque or knee flexion by about 10 to 12 percent so is it true that Mitopure is going to increase muscle strength by 12% and endurance by 17%? Well, for endurance, definitely not. The study they used to prove that claim didn't find that. By the end of the study, there was no difference in endurance. And because the placebo group reached the same level of endurance as the Mitopure group by the end of the study, then this saying or the claim that in the middle of the study, Mitopure had higher endurance, I think you know, it could be explained by some other confounding variables. So I wouldn't say that this is definite proof that uh, mitopur increases endurance. With muscle strength, then the lower body strength, maybe 10 to 12%, that might be true. But for upper body strength, definitely not. So if you're like Gandalf going through the archives looking for 12%, then you might find it there. But uh, it's a little bit deceptive or um, disingenuous uh, result. So because these studies, they're not really clearly showing that. And the average person who looks at the website, they see 12%, 17% proven by clinical trials then you know they're just going to believe it and they're going to buy the supplement whereas you know if you actually go through the data look it into it more deeply then you find it that it's not really the case it's also important to highlight that these studies were done with no prescribed exercise interventions the people were in average health and they weren't particularly fit when you look at their baseline data they also didn't exercise during the study and the effect size of the you know lower body strength specifically is so small that if you just followed a regular exercise program that includes some cardio and lifting weights, you would see way greater improvements in your muscle strength as well as endurance than even what the Mitopure claims they will do. So taking no supplements at all, just following a good exercise program, you'll see much greater results in your hand grip strength, upper body strength, lower body strength, VO2 max, as well as endurance. So there's no real point of paying $125 per month for this supplement that, uh, you know, clearly doesn't have that big an effect on these parameters of fitness. For example, just eight weeks of resistance training in older adults has been seen to increase muscle strength by 180%, muscle size by 9%, and walking speed by 48% from baseline. Mitopure compared to this is like pennies. It's very small compared to these actual outcomes that you see in people doing exercise. So head to head, exercise beats Mitopure, you know, all the time. And if you were to combine urolethane A with exercise, you probably wouldn't see any additional benefits, what you wouldn't get from exercise alone. There are no studies on that yet, looking at combined exercise with urolethane A versus exercise alone, but I'm pretty confident that exercise beats might appear every day of the week. And exercise also promotes mitophagy and different types of autophagy, so it's a no-brainer. So overall, the evidence suggests that Mitopure has benefits on lower body torque, but it doesn't have benefits on upper body strength, and it doesn't have benefits on endurance either. It has been seen to upregulate autophagy and mitophagy in humans, but, you know, again, what's the practical takeaway or how do you interpret that is not clear. We do have a study on C. elegans from 2016 that found that urethane A stimulated mitophagy and thus extended the lifespan of these round worms by 45%. There's also a mouse study from 2022 that found how urolethin A increased lifespan by 19% in mice with Alzheimer's disease. Urolethin A induced autophagy that helped to remove beta amyloid, which is a protein most responsible for neurodegeneration. And yes, that is interesting, you know, these animal studies finding that urolethin A might have life extension effects, but again, there's no human evidence that it would be the case. Are there some other biomarkers that kind of hint towards greater longevity? Well, we do have inflammation. There are some clinical trials finding that urethane A does decrease inflammatory markers like CRP, TNF-alpha, and interferon gamma. But there are other clinical trials that find there's no difference in CRP levels compared to placebo. And when it comes to body composition markers, then urethane A doesn't change muscle mass or fat mass compared to placebo either. So based on these evidence, then um, some of the clinical trials, yes, find a reduction in inflammation, whereas others don't. So looking at the totality of evidence, then you would see that urethane A probably doesn't 
affect inflammation or it doesn't reduce inflammation, maybe in some cases, and it doesn't reduce fat mass and it doesn't improve muscle mass. So it all comes down to hamstring torque. If that's your goal, if you want to increase your hamstring torque by 12% and knee flexion strength by 10%, then yes, paying $125 per month might make sense. But again, that benefit is so small that you would see much greater improvements in those parameters with regular resistance training or whatever plyometric training, or whatever kind of other form of exercise. You would see way greater results from exercise and paying $125 per month for MitoPure, I think is, yeah, just not worth it. And the price point is the biggest problem with uh, this product, like $125 per month, is massive compared to some other supplements like creatine, which has way more evidence for muscle strength and uh, muscle mass, etc. If urolithin A or Mitopure was like one-fourth or like a quarter of the price, then maybe it would be worth it. And if you're like speculating that it might increase mitophagy and speculating that it might increase longevity because of that, then yes, if you pay like $20 per month for it, it might make sense as a speculation supplement. <laughs> But if you're really trying to get benefits and you're really trying to gain like a bang for your buck, then $125 per month uh, is not it. If you want to know what supplements I'm taking and what are some other evidence-based supplements out there, then check out my free supplement list, link in the description. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.